I use the Brave browser for nearly all of my web browsing now. It is comparable, perhaps even equivalent to the Google Chrome browser because it's built on top of the Google Chrome browser. What makes Brave special is that it does ad blocking and tracker blocking by default. So if you click this Brave icon here, you'll see that my shields are up. They're up by default. This isn't a good uh, example because this is brave.com, but it'll uh, automatically, like I said, block all the ads and the trackers. Let's go to a different uh, website to show how this works. So I'm going to go to uh, Google News and I'm going to click on the first uh, example here, this first article. This is going to ABC News and we're going to click the Brave uh, icon here and you'll see what it's doing. I, I have changed the defaults to actually block scripts, um, which is not standard. That's okay. But it's, it is blocking trackers and ads by default, and it's telling you how many uh, it's blocked cumulatively here. It tries to enforce encryption too uh, when it's possible. So this will load even faster for me than it loads for you on Google Chrome because it's not even um, trying to load all the ads and trackers. So if I open up a blank tab here, you'll see that it's been blocking a lot of ads, and it can even calculate how much time that it's uh, cumulatively saved for me in terms of, you know, the, 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 the very little time or, you know, this, this is going to count in uh, milliseconds, but it's going to add up, um, over and over and over again, uh, over a long period of time. So, uh, it ends up saving me time, but it's, it's just a faster, more pleasant, uh, browsing experience. Now, if you go to a news website, for example, and it insists that you have your ad blocker blocker turned off in order to view the article, you can go over here and turn shields down. Um, so another thing I do for a more secure, uh, less trackable, it's, it's really not about being worried about who's tracking me. It's that there's an ecosystem of ads and tracking that just doesn't seem to be very helpful. Um, so I'm not really tech paranoid, but it, it is nice to kind of uh, divert you know, resources away from Google. So I use DuckDuckGo uh, for almost all of my searches now. And uh, DuckDuckGo, uh, it, it, uh, it's nice. Um, it, it, it works a little differently than Google. So uh, it works really well. I will use Google sometimes if DuckDuckGo d doesn't give me what I want. But at this point, 95% of the time, DuckDuckGo is uh, great. Um, about a year ago, I tried DuckDuckGo and it just wasn't great. But it's turned into a great search engine. Um, so... Uh, I think that's it. Brave.com is, it's a browser, it's a project by Brandon Ike, and he used to be the CEO of Mozilla Firefox, which does Firefox, and he um, was the inventor of JavaScript. So pretty neat. So I, if it really doesn't matter how tech you are, it doesn't matter how much of a nerd or a geek you are, I would highly recommend going to brave.com and installing their browser and using it as your default browser. I, I would go to the the settings and actually um, change the the search uh, in settings to be DuckDuckGo by default, and I would change Brave itself to be your default browser. Um, you can take if you install. So this is really nice. If you install Brave, you can import all your bookmarks and settings from Chrome. So uh, it was a one to one experience. It was seamless and interoperable. It was it was just it took all of my settings from Chrome and went straight into Brave. The only time I end up having to fall back to Chrome uh, is when perhaps I'm watching uh, a video like on Amazon.com uh, where there's digital rights plugins that are kind of a part of uh, Google. And that I'll have to use Google for that, but I try to use Brave and DuckDuckGo for nearly everything. So.